Hey hello everybody, my name is Gunnar Moore, welcome back for another video of Age of History 2. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and changed for a brand new, where we started as our brand new uh, country in Asia, this time around in the year 500. I'm going to do something since uh, the years don't seem to, they seem to really be slowing down more and more. We're going by month now instead of years. I think what I'm going to end up doing is just working by uh the turns actually so we're gonna do a hundred turns now instead of a hundred years it's gonna be a hundred turns uh it's gonna be a l even less time for me to do stuff uh but um i'm i like that a lot more because a hundred years is just gonna take way too much time for the chiang to get uh, give themselves something right so uh, what i'm just gonna end up doing is a hundred turns since we already kind of went back through the editing mod and everything and restarted it restarted our turn i'm gonna add an extra maybe i'd say 10 turns to this so now we're in turn 18 let's say so at turn 90 this is when we're gonna be uh, we're gonna have to stop it and go into the next one right so um we are gonna right now continue where we are uh went ahead and liberated the last vassals i forgot to liberate, liberate which was the, the xiu now we've liberated everyone. We don't need to worry about too much. Uh, I think I don't want to. I want to annex just yet the uh, countries that I've just liberated. I think I'm just going to be a little bit more kind on that part, and I'm going to go after these guys right here. Um, they're available, so we might as well go for them. Let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten of their territories, just like that. We're going to take your ten territories, my guy and um you uh, military access yeah you give me military access and uh provinces all right and uh you're gonna be, uh, be able to survive for the next turn that's our deal right here take leave it or take uh, take it or leave it boy uh, buddy all right that's that's all i can say so sp skip to the next turn boys they did accept i think they did yeah they did accept all right so we are good so now we can assimilate every single one of these right there i think we did it yep so um now i got now that i got this uh, what i want to do is just get the farms everywhere farms the libraries the supply camps like we usually do boys we are neighboring uh tibet right here so we uh, can get some troops over here even though it's only eight divisions I'm not gonna hold uh, not gonna do a whole lot i can really not uh get as many troops as i would like right now it's like um I'm not, uh, there's not a lot of population, seems like, in these lands, so that's okay, I guess. We are gonna get uh, the population high up, a little bit more high up in there. Uh, we are gonna do the libraries, farms, and everything. We're already moving quite nicely, like getting a, a huge empire kind of uh, pretty quick, so there's that that's working for us for sure. Libraries, supply camps, this is their former capital that we just annexed. Uh, we don't we're not really even there we're not getting anything in terms of levi so that's uh that's kind of unfortunate there's really not a whole lot we can do and the only thing we can do really is just wait for time to pass and pass by and that's about all we can do really farms libraries and supply camps keep uh working on that i think that's all i got that's all i uh managed to take right there so we don't have anything else we have available oh did i not uh yeah i did go for that one i don't know what it says that yeah so uh, right now what we're gonna do is since we got that uh, now we're gonna go after the yarkan let's go after the yarkan boys and uh, we are pretty friendly with them though so we are gonna have to send some insults here and there so let's do that let's send some insults so we can eventually actually attack them and stuff like that Let's do that, boys. There we go. Uh, I cannot send an ultimatum just yet. I, don't, I just uh, have barely enough, uh, uh, just below the amount of points I needed. So, just gonna have to wait it out. So, let's uh, make sure that I do get uh, the, the t uh, technology researched. All right, so we are in the next turn. Good. Turn 10, boys. And uh, we are gonna go 58. There we go. So, now that that is uh, good and done for let me go ahead i didn't get any troops there interesting I, I, I didn't even get troops there for some reason now i got i got some at least 
All right, so now I am going to go after this guy right here. We're going to do the ultimatum. Demand province. One, two, three, four, five, six. All three, all six of your provinces. We're going to annex you. Boom. Uh, ultimatum done. Let's go ahead and skip. And there we go. So we got every single one of his territories right here. Let's uh, assimilate every uh, one of them. Uh, we are going to start right there. Uh, this is his former capital, so it should work just fine. Farm, supply camps, and everything. Uh, over here, you're going to get a library and supply camp. It doesn't seem like there's any farms available. Libraries, there we go. Uh, we are doing so well right now. Um, I'm just interested in seeing how far we can go with the uh, Chiang boys. Since um, we started right away by defeating the biggest empire in the world. How far can we go with everything else, right? So uh, I'm really intrigued by that. Let's uh, recruit some soldiers. That's the last line I'm going to have to modify right here. There we go. Uh, we don't have, we're not neighboring anybody with this troop. So let's send him over. Same thing for you. Send you over there. And uh, I think that's it. You don't need anybody. Let me, yeah, let me get uh, you over there. You're going to need some troops. Okay, that's about it, boys. So next up, I don't have any points. Low stability in provinces. I am working on that. Don't worry, game. Don't worry about it. And uh, we still have a truce, right? Yeah, we still have a truce with uh, uh, for another 40 turns with them. And they've got a truce with the Han for uh, 20 turns or something like that. So this uh, we might see another war. I'm not sure if they're going to uh, once again attack the Han dynasty. If or if they're going to probably start attacking somebody. Who are they at war with right now? With Korea. All right. They're at war over Korea. That's interesting. And I expect that. I guess they, they, uh, they had enough of a big blow over, um, over the uh, Asian territory. So they, 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 they're getting over there instead. They don't want to go into the mainland, I guess. They're, they're done with that shit. Okay, then. All right, let's go after these guys right here. We're going uh, uh, to do an ultimatum to them. One, two, three, four, five. Five territories that they've got. All five of them, give it to me for the next turn, buddy. Boom, just like that, it's done. Uh, it looks like we are moving a little bit quicker. I did make it so um, that it's at speed uh, six right here. It's at speed six, so I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if it, that changes or anything or, or whatnot, but it, it might. You never know. Let's assimilate everybody that's in there and uh, get all the resources we need. So the libraries and everything. All right, so I went ahead and took care of all of it, boys. Now I'm going to send these troops over there to fortify these borders. Uh, same thing, you are going to go here, I guess. And I think we're good for the rest, uh, really. So I'm not sure which I want to go for. I think I'm going to go for this one because this Kashmir is, is really an easy one to go for. I mean, they only have one territory one region so they're gonna be super easy to go for so i think that's definitely what i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go after them right away right here so right away we're gonna ask for their province they only have that so it's gonna be pretty easy to convince them right away to give me all of that that's the easiest way to doing things we are uh going there we are getting somewhere in terms of technology research though we're able to not uh, to actually be in the 75% now research every time uh, farm. So they did accept. Obviously, that wasn't much of a of a, of a surprise right there. So let's get some troops over there and we are good. Now we are neighboring two huge empires, kind of uh, the uh, former. But well, the still a pretty uh, cons a pretty strong empire, but we're at truce with them, the Mongolians. But we're not at truce with the Changju. We might have to declare war to them. We might have to go to war with them. I'm not sure if they're gonna actually give me the territories if I ask them to give me some. But I am not gonna go into the, uh, the west right here. I'm not interested in going after them uh, just yet. I think uh, I wanna mostly go against smaller regions, easier to take, right? So uh, take all of this, start taking all the little uh, places I've liberated before i'm going to start taking those instead so uh, i'm going to start insulting people though because that's the way of doing things you insult them and then you can then uh send a, an ultimatum so let's send them an ultimatum for these guys 
boom just like that we're gonna do that uh, that's only three provinces so it's gonna be pretty easy to take there we go boys so we have our first technology uh point as well that we can use for this brand new country that we got uh they were working on population economy economy in income and in uh, income basically big time income um we are gonna finish it off for economy let's go at 10. Uh, that's pretty good we are gonna do the assimilation for uh, all three of these lands right here and uh, start recruiting people uh, across the land right here we're actually able to recruit some good capacity of uh, troops right there over these lands so it seems like this we're, uh, the more we go into the south the more we're gonna be able to recruit some good armies because it was formerly handed by the uh, Han dynasty so I guess there's some good uh, lands and they're just waiting for us. We're gonna send you over there. There we go. And uh, you are still neighboring. Yep. So next up, uh, we don't have anything else. Uh, are we friends with these guys right here? We're kind of neutral on them, so I need to uh, insult them really quick. So then the next turn, I can actually uh, do the ultimatum and stuff. There we go. We're in the next turn, boys. We have a trade proposal with one of the countries really quick uh, before I do that. There we go. Just do that. So uh, trade request with a Kanju. I don't know who they are. Who's a Kanju? Oh, these are the guys in India. They want to form a coalition. I'm not sure what the coalition is for. Uh, they want to form some sort of coalition against uh, Sue, Sue somebody. I don't know who they're talking about right here. I have no idea. Who they at war with? Hold on. I gotta figure that thing out really quick though. I gotta figure this out. So who are they at war with right now? Suma or right there. Okay, so these are the guys. So over in the India, these guys want me to form a coalition with them to go to war with these guys. Refuse. I I'm not gonna go at war with a guy that I can't even border or anything. I'm not even bordering. So I'm not gonna do that. That seems like a stupid idea, boys. Uh, plus if I go to war against somebody I, I can't go to war with anybody else so I'm not I'm not doing that all right let's send the ultimatum over there and uh, skip to the next turn there we go just like that we are gonna do the 75 percent research good uh, we've got a bunch of stuff happening Ex they accepted uh, the stuff of course they accepted to be uh, annexed like all the others farms libraries and supply camps we are basically going to be the brand new empire right here. How many territories do we got? We got oh, only 46. It looks a lot bigger than it actually is, boys. We only have 46 territories right now. We really don't have a, lo a, a whole lot. I kind of need to start annexing bigger places like these ones. Like uh, the, the, the actual territories that I originally were supposed to get. I'm going to start annexing this guy though. Oh, I have a truce with him. I have a truce for another 20 turns. Somehow. Okay, so I can't go after him. Tibet, though, I sure can. So I'm going to go after Tibet next. So Tibet, I'm sorry I did release you. You're not, you're not going to survive too long, though. Just a couple of years you're going to survive. Because now I'm going after you uh, next. So unfortunately for you, uh, you uh, chose the wrong time to be alive. So province one two three four uh five six seven eight nine there we go just like that they've got nine provinces just enough for me to be able to take all of it boys so that's really good let's uh, go ahead in the next turn they accepted of course they don't have any troops so the, the one of the countries i just uh i freed liberated not so long ago just went ahead and uh went full uh, dictatorship on them and, and annexed uh a damn all together so let me go ahead and assimilate everything right here we are gonna get some troops over there and i'm gonna make sure they get every single territory done with the supply camps and everything so we are good on that part all right so i'm done uh dealing with all the little territories i did not deal with this one well i did but i forgot to recruit some soldiers right here all right, so that's pretty much that. It's so confusing because we got the same color almost as these guys right here. So it's it's a little bit confusing. I wish they would, it wasn't the same color uh, pattern and stuff. Let me uh, send uh, these troops, these extra troops there. And uh, I'm going to send you over there, I guess. 
And uh, for the next part, I think we're pretty much good here. Yeah, we're neighboring everybody else. I don't have any points left, so we can skip to the next turn again. There we go. We still have some low stability, some, some places we weren't working on. I think uh, now we're going to be working on everybody. That's pretty much everyone, yeah. So uh, we are good on that side. We cannot do any ultimatum or anything. We spent all the points we had on doing the, um, the assimilating and stuff. So let's skip another turn again. There we go, boys. Uh, let's go to 75% research as always. What is this? Uh, building built. Okay, so just a bunch of buildings being built. Who do we want to go after next? Uh, you guys probably would tell me to go after Bhutan. Um, I would tend to agree with that, but I think I kind of want to make it a bit more prettier and go after my former vassals that I liberated. I think that's the best course of option right here. I mean, I could push for the West entirely, but I mean, goes to stay in Asia a little bit uh, longer. So I think I want to go for that. I'm going to go after the, the calm for now. So let's start insulting these guys really quick. And we are going to annex them if we can if they're gonna accept of course let's start um do the province so one two three four five oh actually it's these guys one two three four there we go they've got four territories uh let's save that up and give me everything that you got buddy and you're just gonna be able to survive there we go so another uh, another former vassal just annexed uh annexed just like that so that is that. Uh, we are going to go ahead and recruit some soldiers right here. We're also going to do the libraries and farms and everything like uh, the usual way. Let's assimilate everybody though. There we go. That's done. Uh, farms, libraries, and supply camps everywhere like always. I hope, by the way, uh, guys, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this series. Um, I am enjoying, quite a, uh, enjoying it quite a bit. It's really fun, especially since uh, I've changed a lot, so I can actually I I, I switch uh, countries every now and then. You know, I'm not always with the same one. It gives a little bit more life to the whole thing. It definitely gives an extra life to the um, the campaign, the game itself. You know, I can switch around and not have to stick with the Aztec all the time. I can switch around and do bigger stuff, more interesting stuff uh, all across. So. I think that's more fun for you guys and for me. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the truce has expired with the Han Dynasty. So we can actually uh, start attacking the Han boys, which is really good. Uh, let's just skip it for now, though, because we don't have any points. There we go. Uh, we skipped 75% research. We're in turn 23 already. Uh, we uh, Who do we want to go after? I could try and go for the An, but before going after the An boys, I'm just going to go and finish up this whole thing right here. Finish up this whole uh, thing. I might not go for the Yan and the Qin just yet, the Qin just yet. I, I think I'm going to go after Qingha, Qinghai uh, first though. Definitely going to go after them. So uh, let me just start insulting them as much as possible. There we go. I've got barely enough points to do the ultimatum boys. Had to spend a lot of points. Because they're so high up, uh, so friendly with me, man. I, some, it's going to start taking um, a, a lot of points to actually insult them and stuff like that. So skip to the next turn. We got him. There we go. Just like that. Pretty easy. Another annexation just like that. We don't actually have to go to war with anybody. Uh, the only war we had with this uh, faction or this new country that we have is actually against the Mongolians at the very start. That's the only one we did. So the fact that um, we didn't have to go to war with anybody just proves the fact that how OP it is to uh, actually be able to do the ultimatum and stuff. It's the ultimatum is super uh, super OP, boys. It is uh, truly OP. Uh, it, it, it's what makes the games all, uh, the game a lot more easier. But I don't care about the fact that it's easy. All I care about is I want is the fact that I want to be able to create new empires and make it a bit more interesting that way you know i'm trying to to create more and more empires di different ones change history a little bit as time goes by you know that's what i'm trying to do as much as possible and um i think i'm succeeding pretty well right now in changing the world especially since the han uh supposed to be pretty strong by now but 
it's definitely not. If we take a look around the world a little bit, Gascony actually started to land in Africa, which definitely changes things whole, a whole lot. They are at war with the Moors, which I imagine the Moors are probably like a puppet of, the, of Rome or something, or it's just a, a coalition, I guess. Rome and Moors against Gascony and all these guys. They basically are going to defeat Rome. So Rome should fall. Don't know if it's going to be in the year 600 or whatever, but it's going to fall for sure. What about the Aztec? Uh, they're not doing much, to be honest. They're really not doing much. Uh, they're just doing their thing, I guess, on their side. They, they still... They're not going to reconquer this. I don't think they're going to do anything about this, boys. It's kind of uh, frustrating a little bit to see them doing so badly. I would have, you would have fought with everything I gave them, right? All the territories and stuff, the development. Would have thought they would have been able to do something with that. But I guess, um, I guess not. So, who do we want to go after uh, next? I think I'm going to clear the borders. I am still at peace with uh, the Mongolians, of course, for uh, another 26 turns. So, it's that we're going to be able to go after them again um, eventually. Well, we're going to go after um, my former allies. We're going to go after the Zixia right now. The Zixia, whatever you want to call it. I can't pronounce Chinese names, boys. Uh, forgive me for that, but that's not going to happen. Uh, as a Frenchman, let alone English, is hard enough to uh, pronounce. Uh, pronouncing Chinese names, you're going uh, to have to forgive me for that. Okay, I cannot actually... Oh, let's, uh, oh, let's see. Let's actually forget about that because I can't uh, do uh, an actual ultimatum right here. So I'm going to have to wait for the next turn right here. All right. I think we, uh, we are in the next turn. So we are going to be able to actually send the ultimatum now. So one, two, three, four, five, six territories. They have more than, um, than I gave them. I'm pretty sure. I didn't give them five, uh, six territories. Unless I made a mistake or something. I probably did make a mistake now that I think about it because I'm, I was... I'm pretty sure I was supposed to give everybody a fair number, so five territories, right, each. I'm not sure how he got his hands on an extra one, but uh, whatever, I guess, boys. Let's skip to the next turn right here. Oh, there we go. So they got annexed, of course. They accepted. Um, we are going to go and do the 75% research. We do need to assimilate uh, all of them. So let me make sure that I assimilate as many of them as possible. I think I'm doing everyone right there. Let me uh, see real quick. Is everybody being assimilated? Yes, uh, they are. Good. So uh, what we want to do here is it's pretty easy to figure out where uh, we have new lands. Uh, it's, it's exactly where we don't have any troops. So that's basically it, boys. We don't have any troops there. It's a brand new land. So that's all it is. Let's uh, me recruit some uh, troops over there. Libraries, supply camps and farms. We work on that real quick. All right, so I've worked on everything. Uh, now, do we have any troops? Yes, uh, we we do have these ones. So we're just gonna send them over there, and uh, you are gonna be sent over this one, I guess. There we go. So it's a big ass troop. This is my biggest army by far, I, I believe. There's a huge one right there as well, but uh, by far for now, this is uh, my biggest one. So we uh, don't have anything else to do in this turn right here. Let's go turn 28, boys. There we go. To go for the 75% research. So turn 28. We're uh, at year 513 uh, now. Uh, I'm going to continue to ask for territories for the Zia this time around. So let's start insulting them like we did with everybody else. So we can actually do the good old ultimatum. My goal ultimately is going to be to start uh, going into Eurasia a little bit more, boys. Get our uh, our chance over there, you know. Try and uh, colonize uh, there. Maybe eventually uh, I'm going to be able to create Russia and stuff, right? Create it would be very good. Uh, we can do an ultimatum for these guys. We have enough points. So one, two, three, four, five. They have exactly five territories. So they got... Uh, created the right way. I think I just made a mistake with Zhangju or uh, whatever um, la uh, uh, while I was doing my thing early on. So I guess that's okay, I guess. 75% right here. Investments go there. Uh, we do have... Uh, I need to work on the stability. So let me work on all of this. 
I think everybody's being worked on. Yep. So that's uh, good. Let's work on the cities themselves, farms, libraries, and supply camps everywhere. We do need uh, to build some troops over there as well. While I'm at it, I might as well do that. All right, that's pretty much it, boys, for all the territories. Uh, we need to reinforce the little lands right here. So I'm just going to go there. Same thing for you. You're going to go over there. And my troops, I'm just going to send them over there. And uh, you, over here. There we go. So reinforce uh, all the borders uh, right here along the uh, other places. I kind of want to keep the Qing around, though. It's kind of interesting that they are a democracy for some reason. I don't know why they are a democracy. You would think that the Qing Empire, the Qing would be of all things, like it's the Qing Empire, so you would think they would be a monarchy or something. I, I don't know how uh, how the game thinks that they are a monarchy. It's kind of a, it's kind of strange. It's uh, a democracy that I want. I mean, it's kind of strange, but yeah, we're working with it, I guess. Income. I guess we could finish the income taxations and everything, but I want to work on research. Research and um, I guess the other thing, I'm not sure what the uh, other one is. I think research and colonization are the two most important uh, things, I believe, to research for me to, uh, to get points on for sure. I think they're definitely uh, the most influential things that you can get. So um, we still have about how many turns against the, uh, for the troops right here? 21 21 turns all right so i could try and expand to the west right here i don't want to go after the Qing really quick uh, really so it's either i go west or i go south or i go east uh, i might be tempted to go east right here then again kind of want to keep the yan and the chin around right here uh, i'm gonna just i'm gonna go uh, i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna go and start going into the um the south a little bit more just uh, get a couple annex a couple of territories while i'm at it uh, right here while we're waiting for our truce to be over against the the, the mongolians which by the way the bhutan uh, actually refused uh the peace deal and stuff like that uh, or refused to be annexed for uh i don't know what reason but i guess we're gonna declare war i guess boys they somehow refuse to um to attack to get annexed it's kind of strange not gonna lie very strange of them to refuse something like that but uh, uh i guess that's fine so we're moving them and i cannot annex anybody else right now while i'm at war so just gonna have to wait things out i guess so boom oh shit they do have an army okay they have an army boys uh um i don't have a troops here though this is bordering this land right here shit uh, all right uh, let me send these guys over there. I'm gonna ha I have to send half of them, I guess. Uh, we're gonna try and get them from behind right here. And uh, yeah, I can't do anything. These guys, I can't move them. It's gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad, boys. This might be very bad indeed. We might actually get defeated by these fools. What the fuck? The Bhutan of all people, boys, are gonna give us a problem? That's uh, That's something, that's for sure. All right, what are we going to do here? I guess I could send these guys over there. Try and protect. I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to send them over there so I can protect myself. I cannot recruit any soldiers, boys, until I am done with the war. So, yeah, that's going to be something. That's all I can muster right now. It's all I've got uh, across my land. So, All right. Yeah, all right. Holy shit. I'm going to regret calling, uh, uh, declaring war to them. Frontal assault from three sides, different sides. They're not going to be able to attack me, buddy. You're not going to get me. It's over and done with. All right, I'm getting your goddamn territories, whether you like it or not. You put up a good fight, Bhutan. And you all, you, you did scare me for, uh, for a while there, but uh, it's over now. All right, I got you. So uh, now it is time. Do the peace negotiations. I'm getting these two goddamn territories. That was super scary, boys. I'm not going to lie. We got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, we have how many territories? 70, 70 provinces. Of course, we're losing a little bit right here because we're at war. But uh, as you can see over here, uh, we start to have an empire over there in the Middle East. Uh, Gera a little bit. So they're doing all right. Adrigia is still basically chilling. Rome is almost dead. Almost dead, boys. Uh, Morse 
Uh, is Rome at war with Morse? Not even. So I'm not even sure. Morse is just taking everything. Gascony is uh, destroying Rome, but at the same time, it's getting destroyed by Morse a little bit uh, over there in uh, Africa. So interesting for sure. Got all these ones. The Picts, are they at war with anybody? Not really. So they're not doing too much. They're not uh, doing anything. And we've got uh, the Aztec, which are not doing anything at all on their side as well. So if we take a look at the actual world, we are right now ranked 31 in the world. So this is number 14. So we're not there at all, boys. We just got to keep expanding, I, I guess. The Han Dynasty is actually in there. So the top uh, top five, the Adamni, of course, over Europe. Uh, they've got the Picts, former, uh, our former country. In, the tur uh, in second place, the Aztec in third place, the Adrigians in uh, fourth place, in fifth place, Gascony, boys. Pretty close, actually tied up with the Mongolians for the provinces. So, so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.